Hi friends, I'm so happy you're here today. Can you believe it's already the last week of the month? And all month, we've been learning that we can trust who? That's right, God. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, you can. One big reason I know we can trust him is because God gave us Jesus to be our best friend ever. God sent us Jesus to show us just how much he loves us. And because God loves us, we can trust him. Who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, that's what our memory verse says this month from the book of Psalms. I can trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Can you say it with me? I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. Let's try that one more time. I trust in God. I am not afraid. Psalm 56, 11. We can trust God because we know that he loves us so much. Let's take a look at the stories we've learned so far this month. We learned in John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave us Jesus. Last week, we heard another story about Gideon and how God used Gideon and his small army to do something really big. God can use you no matter what. Today, our true Bible story will teach us that God can do anything. Are you ready to hear it? I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, today's true story from the Bible comes from the book of 1 Kings. Go ahead and grab a Bible if you don't have one and open to 1 Kings chapter 18. If you need to, you can pause the video now. Our true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah. Elijah was a friend of God. He loved God and knew God can do anything. That's why Elijah trusted God. But the king of the land, King Ahab, did not trust God. King Ahab believed in a pretend God. He even had a big statue of him. Can you guys pretend to be statues with me? Just pick a pose and freeze. New pose. Are you being a good statue? Don't move. One more pose. Hmm. Are you all done being a statue? <laughs> nice job. The king had a lot of people who told him over and over that his pretend God had superpowers and that his statue could do anything. The king thought that was great. But Elijah knew that it was not great. Elijah knew that there was only one true God and everyone needed to know. So Elijah said to the king, hey king, let's do a test. We'll each set up an altar and then we'll pray. The God who starts a fire on the altar is the real God, the one true God. Everyone agreed. And Elijah let King Ahab go first. So King Ahab and his big group of people prayed to their pretend God. They shouted, but the pretend God did not send fire. So Elijah said, maybe he's sleeping. Maybe you should shout louder. And that's what King Ahab and his people did. They shouted louder and louder, but their pretend God still didn't answer with fire. Now it was Elijah's turn. Elijah trusted God and believed that God can do anything. So Elijah went to the altar. He had his people pour water all over it so it could get be really hard to light on fire. Can we pretend to pour water on an altar like Elijah? Maybe from like a cup or maybe from a bucket? That's a lot of water. Then he prayed to God. Can we fold our hands and pray with Elijah? God, we believe you are the one true God. We believe you can do anything. Show us your power. God, so that all the people here can see that you are the one true God and you have the power to do anything. 
Guess what happened? God did it. God sent fire down on the wet altar. Then everyone knew that God is the one true God. Wow. God is so powerful. God can do anything. When we remember that God can do anything, it helps us trust God. I can trust God. And you can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God. Say it a little louder. Who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, you can. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, you are the one true God, and there is no one else like you. You are powerful and loving and always with us. We know that you can do anything. Thank you for being so awesome. I hope we never, ever, ever stop trusting you. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching this week, guys. We'll see you next week.